Hey, welcome to another edition of Durham Bulls Daily, which is where the Durham Bulls fans come for their daily updates on the squad, game recaps, highlights, and more. I'm Patrick Keenis, broadcaster for the Durham Bulls. And a reminder, you can subscribe to this and get the notifications of brand new episodes right in your inbox to subscribe on Apple or on Spotify, Durham Bulls Daily, or you can watch these shows on our YouTube channel, Durham Bulls TV. Series opener, Polar Park on Tuesday night for the Bulls, looking to string back-to-back wins together for the first time this season. And they had Mason Montgomery on the hill, endeavoring over his first win of the season. Early lead for the Bulls, Dominic Smith, a top-of-the-first-inning run-scoring single. That would bring in Cameron Meisner, who began the game with a double, and it was one nothing Durham after a half-inning. But in the bottom of the first inning, the Worcester Red Sox sent up former Bull and on a big league rehab assignment, Rob Refsnyder to the hill against Montgomery. He connected on a 1-0 pitch for a game-tying home run. It was 1-1 after 1. Then into the bottom of the second inning with one out, a walk to Mark Contreras, a single by Jamie Westbrook, and Montgomery struck out Eddie Alvarez, the Olympian, for the second out of the inning, and he was on the verge of getting through it. But Dalton Guthrie, left fielder for Worcester, came up against Montgomery with two on and two outs in that 1-1 game. And Montgomery trying to keep this game knotted up. First pitch is swinging a fly to left. Hangs toward the corner. On the chase is Peters into the corner. By the wall, jumps up just over the wall for a three-run homer. First by Guthrie. And a two-out shot on a first-pitch slider from Montgomery. 4-1 Worcester. That would be the second of three home runs hit on the night for Worcester, and the Red Sox went up 4-1. to one. They added another run in the bottom of the fourth inning to take a 5-1 to one lead before the Bulls finally made a little bit of a push against Worcester starting pitcher Noyuki Uwasawa, who was actually in big league camp with the Tampa Bay Rays after 11 years pitching in Japan. The Rays signed him up, and he was making a bid to make the Tampa Bay Rays but he didn't and was traded away to the Boston Red Sox in late March and facing now a lot of the guys who are teammates of his in spring training, including catcher Alex Jackson, who caught him a lot in spring training. Jackson came up in the fifth against Uwasawa with a couple of men on to try and draw the Bulls close. Pitch on Jackson, swinging a fly ball left field, judged by Guthrie, moving back quickly. He's on the warning track, he's at the wall, feeling for it, and Alex Jackson, a three-run homer just over the top of the left field wall. He just continues to murder baseballs. It's Jackson's sixth home run in 13 games, and the Bulls are within a run, 5-4 to four in the fifth inning. That would be Jackson's sixth home run in just 13 games this season, and it was 5-4 Worcester after four and a half. But that's the closest the Bulls would get. Worcester added two more runs in the bottom of the sixth inning on another home run, and the Bulls offensively dormant the last couple of innings. Two solid arms with Zach Kelly and Cam Boozer combining to strike out 10 across their four scoreless innings to close out the game, and Worcester beat the Bulls 7-4. to four. Second game of the series, Wednesday afternoon, 3.05 Eastern time. Jacob Lopez will start for the Durham Bulls. Once again, this is Durham Bulls Daily. Feel free to subscribe on Apple, on Spotify, or watch on Durham Bulls TV and never miss a game. Final score again Tuesday night from Worcester, 7-4 Red Sox over the Bulls. I'm Patrick Keenis for Durham Bulls Daily.